somebody can just help me. This is not working. Okay. Now, for the last few Sundays, we talk about amazing grace. At nice ko pong maunawaan nating lahat. Ano ba yung amazing grace? So I hope that everybody understand completely and totally that our salvation is by grace alone through faith. At ating pong kaligtasan ay isang regalo lang ng Diyos. Ito po ay unmerited favor of God. Just to make it clear for us na wala po tayong ginawa sa ating kaligtasan. And I want you to understand this. Ang part lang po natin sa ating kaligtasan ay tayo po ay naniwala na si Jesus ay namatay sa cross para sa atin. That is only our part. But by the grace of God, salvation is free. Alam mo ba minsan, pag pupunto tayo sa ibang lugar, if we're going to travel to another country, you have to pass x-ray. Okay? X-ray machine, okay? You have to take everything, if even your shoes. Diba? Lahat. So, ang para pong inihahaling tulad ko to sa, sa pag lumapit ka sa Diyos, wala kang dadalhin. Kapag iniisip mo na ikaw ay sisimba dahil gusto mong maligtas, that is not grace. If you think that you want to do good works because you want to be saved, that is not grace. Grace is a gift of God. And I want to make sure that you understand the grace of God because I am going to talk about good works. So wag po nating iswap, wag po nating um, um, uh, um, ma i, uh, what does it mean? Ma wag nating i interchange na ang atin pong good works is for us to be saved. Amen? So that's why this morning I am going to talk about amazing rewards. Amazing rewards. Okay? What follows after we are saved? Nung po tayo, ano ibig sabihin ng bakit saved? Alam mo ba? Why we are all talking about salvation? My friend asked me, Julius, when you're talking to me, why are you always talking about hell and heaven? Kasi po yun ang katotohanan sa buhay. That we are only here on earth for a period of time. And after that, this we're going to die. And you have to know where are you going. If you're going to live for what? 80 years. What is 80 years compared to eternity? At yun po ang lagi nating pinag-aaralan. So, I have two questions to ask you. Nung ikaw ba ay naligtas, okay, nung ikaw ay naligtas, nais ba ng Diyos na ikaw ay gumawa ng mabuti? Amen. Amen. Kasi po ganito, ika, born again, you are born again. Like a newborn baby, di ba pag a newborn baby ka, syempre yung baby, hindi niya pa alam, but you are always starving for milk. Lagi kang gutom. Okay, lagi kang gutom pag ikaw ay baby at lagi mo siyang pinaiinom ng gatas. So, ganun din po, pagka tayo na boy na din, okay, inalintulad tayo sa isang batang bagong panganak. Are you starving for the Word of God? Are you starving to talk to those who are in the body of Christ? Ikaw ba'y nagugutom na nais mong purihin ang Diyos at ikaw ay manalangin? Yun po, ang symptoms, ano, symptoms or signs and symptoms, although we are not depending on our emotion because it is a faith, but pag po tayo naburn again, ay magkakaroon po tayo ng uhaw na makinig at matuto at maglingkod sa Diyos. And little by little, we are growing. Amen? Okay, may dalawa po ang katanungan. Yan. Does God expect good works from His children? Amen? Amen. Kasi po minsan, ino-obvious natin ang grace ng Diyos. Na kahit na tayo magkasala, I know, we are saved. Pero minsan, we are focusing on, on the negative things na kahit na tayo magkasala, I saved naman ako. Instead of doing good works because
because you are saved. But sometimes, we are focusing on kahit na magkasala ako, maliligtas naman ako. Dahil nga ang kaligtasan ko ay regalo ng Diyos. Pero ano po ang sinasabi sa Ephesians 2.10? For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things He planned for us long time ago. Ano sinasabi? We are God's workmanship. We are God's masterpiece. And He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. We are created to do good works. Yes, we are not only saved because to go to church, yes, it is a part of our Christian life. We are not only saved because we want to worship, although this is a part of our Christian life. But He saved us for good works. God has equipped each and every one of us to be used to serve Him. And we are all servants of God and one day we are accountable to God how we use our time, how we use our talent, and how we use our money. So God works, good works is a normal part of our Christian life. Okay, are good works a normal part of our Christian life? Yes, kung yung mga hindi na Kristiyano, they are doing good works eh. How much more na tayo ay naunawaan natin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa ating buhay? Ano yung good words sa, sa 2 Timothy 2, 21 to 24? If you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work. He wants, but God wants us to be used for good work. Run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. Instead, pursue righteous living. Lumakad tayo ng matuwid. Faithfulness, maging tapat tayo sa Diyos. Love and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. Are you enjoying your companionship with the other believers? And again, I say don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. You know, when we are talking about foolish things, that it only ends up in arguments. So a servant of the Lord must not quarrel. Servant of the Lord, we are all servant of the Lord. So hindi po tayo dapat nag-aaway-aaway, but must be kind to everyone. Maging mabait tayo sa bawat isa. To be, to be able to teach and be patient with difficult people. And this is true. No? There are some difficult people at work in the trades. So if you are not difficult people, you should be patient. If you are not patient, one, you are one of the difficult people. right? So either one, if you are patient, you are not a difficult person. But if you are a difficult person, you are not a patient person. So either one. Okay, so... God uses to prepare us, to equip us for every good work. At ito po ang importante, yung nais kong maunawaan mo. Okay. Our belief determines where we will spend eternity. Amen? Kung ano ang paniniwala mo ngayon, ay dapat alam mo na kung saan ka pupunta. Do you know where are you going? Our beliefs determines where we will spend eternity. Kasi nga dun sa ano, for it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, not of your good works, so that no one can boast. Only believe. Now, believe in Jesus Christ that He died on the cross for us to have an eternal life. At ito po ang katotohanan. We are not saying this but the Bible says that those who has Christ have life, and those who does not have Jesus Christ does not have eternal life. Kung wala kang Diyos at hindi ka naniwala sa Kanya, wala kang buhay na walang hanggang. Okay? Clear po yun sa abawat isa sa atin. And I want you all to 
understand this. So that our behavior determines how we will spend eternity. Now, I'm not talking about salvation now. You know that you have a personal relationship with the Lord. You are saved. But our behavior determines how we will spend eternity. How many rewards? How many treasures in heaven? The Bible says that store up for yourself treasure in heaven. Kanino ko mag ng kayamanan mo in heaven? Not for your husband, not for your friend, not for your children, but store up treasures in heaven. Dito po sa lupa, we are treasuring our, our uh, we are um, storing up treasure for our children. Para pag namatay tayo, we will pass this uh, treasure. But the Bible says that store up treasures in heaven for yourself. You know what? Because salvation is in the world. Ang bawat pong isa sa atin ay may kailangang magkaroon ng personal na relasyon sa Diyos. Hindi po natin dali ng ating asawa, ang ating anak sa heaven, kundi ito ay personal mong pangumusap sa Diyos. And now, I'm going to share with you, okay, that's why I, I mentioned first about salvation. Because don't uh, interchange the, the gift of salvation to good works. I'm going to talk about the future judgment. Uh, there are a lot of judgment, but I just chose this uh, two judgment is the judgment set of Christ and the great white throne judgment. Whether you like it or not, one time, one day, we will all stand before God. Because it is appointed to die once, and after that is judgment. Lahat po tayo, i-judge tayo sa harapan ng Panginoon. Okay, now, what is the judgment seat of Christ? Alam mo pa sa English, uh, sa English uh, language, if you see this, they are all both judgment. No? So, but if you, uh, if you get the Greek meaning of the first one, the, the judgment seat of Christ, ito po yung sinasabing bima. Okay? Ito sabihin ko po sa inyo ang context ng first Corinthian chapter uh, first Corinthian chapter 9. Ito po yung sinasabi dito sa judgment seat of Christ. Sa isa, in the city of Corinth, dun po sa Corinto, malapit to sa Greece, they have constructed a judgment seat to, for the local officials. Okay? And this seat was to give out awards to athletes for their competitive performances. At ito, binibigyan sila ng award na crown made of leaves at doon sila pumupunta sa um, judgment seat. Ito. Ayan. Iwa sa pag sa Olympics at nananalo, nananalo ka yung they are giving medal. At dito, binibigyan sila ng crown made of leaves. At ito din yung place where um, you, if you have to address legal charges against individual. At si Apostle Paul po, ay, siya ay familiar dito sa Bima seat na to, sa judgment seat na ito. Because uh, when a galio, siya po yung pre-consul of that place, or yung tinatawag natin na uh, siya po yung pinakamataas, siya po yung chief of, uh, military chief, uh, military general, siya po yung uh, nagbibigay ng, ng judgment. Ang nangyari po kay Paul, nandun siya dahil siya po ay nagsishare ng gospel sa mga medyo. Okay? Pero, chinites po siya ng mga Jew at upumu po siya dyan because Paul, um, they are accusing Paul of persuading people to worship God in a ways that is contrary to the law. Yung mga Jew, sinishare niya ng salita ng Diyos about Jesus Christ but the Jews doesn't believe because this is contrary to their law. At ito po ang sinabi ni, ito po ang sinabi sa kanya ni Galio doon sa mga tao na nag-accuse kay Paul. Listen, you Jew, if there were a case involving some wrongdoing or a serious crime, I would have a reason to accept your case. But since it is merely a question of words and names and your Jewish law, take care of it yourself. Dinismiss niya yung kaso dahil nagreklamo lang naman yung mga Jew for Paul doon sa kanyang pagsishare ng word of God. At ang nangyari po si Paul, he went to the other, to the nearby place and he shared the gospel to the Gentiles. You know that we are Gentiles during those times. There are only two people 
If you are not a Jew, you are a Gentile. Okay? Toto, next, it's not working. So, ayun po ang context ng judgment seat of Christ. The judgment seat of Christ is reserved for the judgment of Christian only. So, dito po sa judgment seat of Christ, ay, ang i-judge po lang dito yung mga Christian. Yung pong born again Christian, yung mga born again believer. If you are not a believer, you will be judged in the great white throne judgment. So, dito po sa great, uh, dito po sa sa judgment seat of Christ, tayo po mga Christiano. Okay? We will go more. Okay? Um, so that every one of us, lahat po tayo, we will give an account to God. Kaya po, this is the context of this judgment seat, yung bima seat na sinasabi dun sa Greek word. Therefore, it involves believers giving an account of their life to Christ. This is not a place or a time when the Lord will punish you for the sin that you have committed. Hindi po ito ang oras, ang araw na ikaw ay pahirapan ng Diyos dun sa mga kasalanan mo. Rather, it is a place where rewards will be given or lost, depending on how you conducted your life for the Lord here on earth. So our salvation, we are judged by grace. Okay? It is the grace of God. That's why we are saved. But this one that I'm talking about, it is a good works that God will reward you when you meet Him face to face. So the purpose of this judgment is to reward all believers how, they, how you faithfully serve Jesus so although although it is a it is not a judgment and uh, but it will deal on with a loss of rewards. Kaya sabi ni Paul sa mga Corinthians kasama nito. Sabi niya for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the good things done in his body according to what he had done, whether it be good or bad. Okay? I'm not talking about salvation now. Whether it is good or bad, it means the things that you have done worthlessly, no account, walang, uh, walang silby dito sa lupa. You will be judged. Kaya po itayo mga Kristiyano ay inihalid tulad tayo sa isang manlalaro. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs? If you are joining a marathon, Okay? Everybody runs. But only one person gets the prize. So, run to win. Run to win. So, we are, uh, kinukumpir po tayo sa isang uh, manlalarong tumatakbo na kailangan natin ding idisiplina ang ating mga sarili bilang mga kristyano. All athletes are disciplined in their training. Tayo po mga kristyano, kailangan din po natin na disiplinahin natin, i-train natin ang ating sarili. What are we going to train for ourselves? Kasi kung susundin lang natin ang ating flesh, syempre matutulog na lang tayo. Sino bang ayaw matulog? Ang lamig. Diba? Sino ayaw mag-exatulog sa umaga instead of reading the Bible or praying to God? Diba everybody, our flesh like that. Ang ating pong katawang lupa, ay syempre gusto pa natin matulog. Kaya nga, kailangan din natin i-discipline ang ating sarili. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. Ginagawa nila, ang isang manlalaro, ginagawa nila ito para sila'y magkaroon ng crown, but this crown will fade away. But we do it for eternal prize. Okay? Ginagawa natin to na pag binigyan tayo ng crown ay incorruptible, hindi masisira. It will not fade. So run with purpose in every step. So lahat natin ginagawa, let us run. Do it purposely. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete. We have to discipline our body, our Christian life like an athlete, training to do what it should. Gawin natin yung 
dapat natin ginagawa. The athlete, if you're joining the marathon, you have to train before joining or else sakit-sakit yung mga kasuan mo. Kaya sabi ni Paul dito, otherwise I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. And the athlete cannot win the prize unless they follow the rule. May isa pong theologian na, na, na uh, sinabi niya na kung paano tayo i-judge dito sa uh, white uh, judgment seat of Christ. Ito po, uh, nilagay ko na lang dito, there are 10, 12 of that, and then we will can come up to five rewards, okay? To sum up, how we treat other believers, how we exercise our authority over others, how we employ our God-given abilities, how we use our money, how we spend our time, how much we suffer for Jesus, how we run the particular race God has chosen for us, and they are all have a biblical um, text, but I cannot, um, you know, we, have, we don't have enough time, how effectively we control our old nature, how many souls we witness to and went to Christ, how we react to temptation, how much the doctrine of the rapture means to us, and how faithful to the word of God and the flock of God. So tinitingnan po ng Diyos ano bang motibo natin to be a leader sa lahat po nating ginagawa. Why are we singing in front? Why are we playing instrument? Was it for power? Was it for prestige? Was it for pride? Was it to be noticed by people? To be lauded or to be praised by others? Or to be applauded para ma Ma makita natin ang palakpak ng tao, we will all be judged. And only God knows what is in our heart. Amen. sabi nila when this thing happened. You know, they said, according to theologian, they're saying that this will happen after the rapture. That's why we believe that before the tribulation come into this world, God will remove us from this earth. In the twinkling of an eye, He's like a thief in the twinkling of an eye, he's like a thief, and the, and the dead will, will rise, and all the, the Christians who are still alive will meet Jesus in the clouds. Isn't it excited? Are you excited to meet Jesus? Yes. And we have rewards for that. And that's rewards that I'm going to, to talk about. This is the day. It is a crowning day for the Christian. Are you excited? It's like a graduation. Are you going to... There's no graduation. Para lang kukuha tayo ng ating medal. No? Wear medal natin. So, uh, pero to, sinabi nga ni ni Paul, it's unlike the athletes who are getting their uh, their crown made of leaves, okay? We will receive a crown, an eternal crown from the Lord Himself. Okay? We are receiving this crown from the Lord. And number one is the incorruptible crown. And the put dito, incorruptible crown, the runner's crown, the worker's crown. Katulad po ng ating sinabi dito, that in the race, all the runners run, tumatakbo po tayo ng may purpose bilang isang mga Kristiyano. Sabi po dito sa Roman Arena, before the contest, each participant practice self-discipline, being temperate in all things. It is said that world today, there were doubtless many pleasure and pastime that the athletes might have entered into enjoy, but they denied themselves these things in order to do their best and receive the crown of the victories. Kaya kung you're a boxer, you have to train yourself, you have to discipline yourself to win the crown. And also, this is also a, a what we call a worker's crown. Yung mga worker's crown. So kaya po lahat ng ating ginagawa, maliit, o malaki, alam ng Diyos ito. This is a worker's uh, crown Amen. where whatever you do, work it with all your heart as you are working for the Lord and not for men. Lahat po nang ginagawa natin, maliit na bagay, hindi ito po ay nakikita ng Diyos. And one day, you will face Jesus at ito po ay makakatanggap ka ng isang crown. Those who are serving God without complaint. Amen. Amen. The second one is the crown of rejoicing. 
the crown of rejoicing. The soul's winner's crown. Amen? The soul's winner's crown. At ito po ang sinasabi sa 1 Thessalonians 2, 19 to 20. For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when He comes? It is not you, indeed, you are our glory and joy. And I would like to share this thing to you. Uh, as you know that um, I have a friend in, in Pakistan, okay, a, a, a Christian, um, but he was converted from Muslim to, uh, to Christianity. And the point sinabi niya, when we are chatting, you know, sabi niya, I'm so blessed with your church, but you will be blessed and there is joy in soul winning. Ito po yung sinabi niya sa akin. So, mungulit siya dito. Uh, this is what he said. And I want to read it to you. Kasi po, sabi ko nga, this is the place where you can really see. No, I'm not saying that we are real Christian. But they are Christian that really lives in faith. And they are dependent on God. Sabi niya dito sa akin, warm Christian greetings. May the grace of God be with you and family and church members. I have true hope in Christ that you are all fine. Okay? You are truly blessed in Christ and all your families to be the blessing of God. I bless through your work done and doing for Christ in the world. I praise the Lord Jesus Christ and lift his holy name higher and may always exalt on earth in heaven. May God bless you and make you more strong for his glory. Amen. I am really glad and bless through your Christian ministry. Plan for gospel work. Please pray for me and my family to the bless to be blessed in Christ and a effective. You know, this effective, effective witness of Christ. So he is doing soul winning. Sabi in Acts 1:8 in Pakistan and use us to preach the gospel in Matthew 24, 40. It is the greatest commission. May God bless you and please pray for me that God bless me with God-fearing wife who love God and love to live for God and serve Him and evangelize children and all people and pray for me for the lost souls in the world. You know, he has a, 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 a desire, he has a burden shot to pray for the lost. You know what? Because without Christ, you are going to hell. And that's the truth. So, Sabi niyo pa dito, uh, please pray for Pakistan and please ask the God, the Holy Spirit, to send you in Pakistan for win soul care. And prayer and worship of God and preach the gospel with us in all Islamic country open for preaching. A country which have, sinabi niya dito, and then, sabi niya, uh, people of the world needs gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 24, 14. I'm glad to write you and request you to come to Pakistan to give us training for preaching and leadership through your work ministry, which we really need for pastor and evangelists and lay leaders, children workers, and Sunday school teachers, as well for the faithful Christian to win every soul for Christ in Pakistan. <coughs> Father's will is one should perish. I'm sending you my... Okay. Uh, sinabi niya, no? And then, uh, uh, you know, she, she, he gave Bible. And um, prayer and power and main means with God leads you and we may be blessing nation to those. So who wants to go to Pakistan? Okay, we will, we want? Huh? Are you willing to die for Christ? Yes. Are you willing to be in prison? And while I was talking to him, he told me that his friend was burned to death. The couple, who were Christian, pregnant, a mother, was great to death. Just happened November 4th. But if God is telling you to go to Pakistan, why not? You have a crown of rejoicing. Amen? Okay. So our let us pray to God that our desire is to share the love of God to those who are lost. Yes. Okay, that's number two. Number two is the crown of righteousness. This is a watcher's crown. Now there's a start for me, the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, 
with a word to me on that day, and not only to me, but also who gave love for his appearing. Ito po yung sinasabi nating rapture. We are waiting for his appearing that one day, God will come in the twinkling of an eye. Actually, in this twinkling, if you uh, watch the, which movie is that? Rapture? Left Behind? Yeah. No? Left Behind? If you watch, it's something like that, no? Uh, this is sinasabi nating rapture. Because why there is a crowd of uh, righteousness to these people who are waiting for God's return. Alam niyo kung bakit? Siyempre, kung ikaw ay naghihintay ng pagdating ng Diyos, anytime, because it said, it's like a thief in the night, of course, you are not doing a abominable sin. If you are waiting for Christ's return, parang, mag, parang isang magnanakaw, siyempre, lagi kang careful, you are conscious of what you are going to do, just in case the Lord will come in that moment. Kailangan you are tama ka. Kailangan gumagawa ka ng mabuti para sa Diyos. And that's why God is giving a special award. No? Crown of righteousness or the watcher's crowns for those who are uh, waiting for His return. Because the Savior appearing is closely aligned with holiness of life. Number four is the crown of life. This is a sufferer's crown. At sinasabi po dito sa Matthew 5, 10 to 12, there are places in the world that they are really willing to die for Christ. They are martyrs. Not all of us can be a martyr. Actually, you know, when I was invited in this, I Lord, hindi ko alam. To be honest, no? You should have faith. You know, you should have a message because one time I, I, I was watching Marilyn Hickey and she was preaching in Pakistan and there are a lot of people and I told to the Lord in my heart, say is it ko lang, it's between me and God. Lord, I also want to be like that. Like that na, nung may nag-invite na ayaw niya. <laughs> I want also to be like that, to go to the place like this. But then, sabi ko, Lord, um, uh, let us pray for that. <laughs> okay? So, uh, kaya nga, special award, no? Dun sa sufferer's crown also. Sabi dito, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. For there is, is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and force you to say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Why people are insulting you? Is it because of Christ? Or is it because of your foolishness because of your what bad things that you are doing rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven amen. amen for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you okay you have a special crown for God a crown of life the sufferer's crown because there are you know not, not all of us are martyrs you know the disciples of Christ they are all martyrs of Christ. They are all died in in a difficult um, ways. They were burned to death. They were uh, hung to the cross upside down. Stoned. They were stoned to death. And while they are uh, people are stoning them to death, they are praying for these people who are persecuting them. That's a martyrs and. Yeah, I, I heard one preaching, sinabi niya, if you are a martyr, you know, is it, this is very sweet, and you will love it because my reason why you died, because you died for Christ. And lastly is the crown of glory. This is the shepherd's crown. Shepherd's crown, it po yung mga pastor, na, <laughs> yung mga pastor po na ginagawa nila, tinuturuan nila yung kanilang mga, kanilang mga uh, members na to be more closer to God. Okay? So, and now, a word to you who are elders in the church. I too am elder and witness to the suffering of Christ. We'll share in His glory. Okay? We will share in His glory. When He is revealed to the whole world, a fellow elders, I appeal to you, care for the flock that God has entrusted you. What's over it willingly 
not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them for your own good example. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor as the ministers of God. So, as I po, there is an uncorruptible crown, a runner's crown, or a worker's crown. Are you running a race to get this crown? A crown of rejoicing or a soul's winner's crown? Are you witnessing the love of God? Crown of righteousness, what's your crown? Are you waiting for Jesus Christ? Are you waiting? Are you excited for his return? The crown of life, are you persecuted because of your faith? And the crown of glory, the shepherd's crown. And you know that one last judgment, the great white throne judgment, this is where those people who died in sin and did not believe in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Because God is a just God. So why great throne judgment for? We are not there anymore. That's why it says before, your belief determines where you are going. Alam nyo na ngayon pa lang kung saan kayo pupunta. Are you going to the judgment seat of Christ for you to receive a crown or to lose it? Or you are going to be in the great white throne judgment? And sabi sa white throne judgment, then is so, a great white throne. And he who was seated on it, ate in the sky, fled from his presence. And there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small. Lahat tayo, presidente, kahit sino ka, standing before the throne, and books were open, another book was open, which is the book of life, the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead and were in it, and the dead, the haters, gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and haters were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. And the great white throne judgment is where those who do not believe in Jesus Christ are judged and condemned. So we, where are you going to attend which judgment? Are you going to judgment seat of Christ or are you going to the great white throne judgment? Kung ikaw ay isang mananampalataya, we will be judged by Christ because righteousness has been imputed to us. And our name are written in the book of life. You know, we atin yung righteousness, we are not righteous, you know, but it is because of Jesus who died in the cross, he imputed that righteousness to us. So if you receive, your part is to believe in Jesus, to be part of the, um, the judgment seat of Christ. That one day, we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and each of us will give an account to God. And now, you can ask yourself, Lord, saan nga ba ako? Sigurado ka ba? And probably when you go home, think of it. Lord, do I really have, am I really, a, I, uh, do I really have a personal relationship to you? I am confessing Christian or I'm just professing Christian? So, it's only you, it's between you and God who can answer it, that question if you have a personal relationship with God. Manalangin po tayo. Panginoon Diyos, marami pong salamat dahil you have amazing grace sa buhay namin. You are amazing God and even don't po, your amazing grace is enough for us, Lord. But you have given us extra amazing rewards. Lord, help us to understand more of you, O oh Lord. Help us, Lord, to, to run a race purposely, O oh Lord, with your reason, O oh Lord. Sa amin pong pananampalataya, sa bilang pong mga isang uh, mananampalataya, Panginoon, tulungan po kami, O oh Diyos, na 
Magkaroon ng discipline sa aming sarili, how are we going to, 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 to pray, how are we going to read the Word of God, kung paano po kami magkakaroon ng magandang uh, relationship sa iba namin kasamahan ng Diyos. But I believe if we have the right relationship with you, Lord, you have the right relationship with others, Lord. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa bawat um, bagay na ginagawa mo sa bawat isa, oh Lord, sa silbahang ito, Panginoon, that you have started, Lord. I thank you, O Lord, and I worship. Lord, it is our desire. This is the desire of the church, to know you more, please, to be in prayer, to see your power in this church, to see people coming to you, O Lord. Mga tao, those who are lost, O Lord, those who are, who are our friends, Panginoon, na wala pang Kristo sa buhay, O Diyos, Lord, itinadalangin po namin sila. Alam po, Panginoon, nothing is impossible unto you, O Lord. And it's because of our prayer, because of the prayer of each of your children, O Lord, ng bawat pong isa ay nagiging, uh, nagkakaroon Panginoon ng, ng, ng question sa kanilang buhay na uh, totoo bang may Diyos. And uh, if they have that question, Panginoon, ay yun po ang nagiging daan o God para po sila ay maghanap patungo sa iyo. Lord, marami pong salamat uh, sa bawat isa, Lord. Alam ka ng Panginoon ang kanilang mga pangailangan o Diyos. Lord, bigyan mo sila ng kasagutan, Lord. There's a reason why all of them here are here, Lord. They want to worship you. They want to praise you, Lord. They want to hear your word. They want to grow more uh, about your truth, O oh God. At Lord, sa kanilang mga puso, meron sila mga sariling mga panalangin, Panginoon. Lord, whatever it is, O oh Lord, speak to them, Lord. I know you can speak to the person, mind, Lord. I pray the Lord that you would answer them, O oh Lord.